Hello and welcome. Today we are exploring the city of Cusco and over the past week we've been watching the locals set up this huge red stage in front of the cathedral in the main square and we were like, what is going on? And it is actually because Today is Peru's 200th anniversary of their independence and we are so lucky to be able to be here and go walk around and go see it. So I'm so happy and we're gonna go head out now. So we just walked through Plaza de Armas and it was so beautiful. The sun is starting to set, so it's becoming the afternoon. People are out and about. There's lots of different vendors coming around trying to sell you different things. But we are actually making our way towards the San Pedro market in order to pick up some groceries for the rest of this week. So unfortunately, because it's Independence Day, the market is actually closed, which makes sense. They all deserve a break for their Independence Day. Um, so we're actually going to come back tomorrow because they have these mangoes that we really, really love and we want to get some more. So for the rest of the day, we'll just keep exploring the city. So we're now walking away from the city center in order to find some dinner and hopefully it'll be a little bit cheaper than being right here in the, you know, the center of downtown. Gracias. Gracias. So earlier today I was watching a YouTube video by this guy Mark Wines and he was exploring the city of Cusco and he found this restaurant where he got his entire meal for like two dollars. So basically you get some soup and then you'll get some lomo saltado and you get tea and all of it will be 10 soles for us. So just to be clear, 10 soles will be two dollars and fifty cents in US currency which is wild. And the soup that he just brought out is already pretty big and so I think we'll definitely be filled and I'm really happy that we found such a great spot with such a great deal. tonight but no complaints this looks absolutely amazing so it's basically just some chicken with potato and some rice so we are walking back to our place now we are absolutely stuffed yeah because he also brought out some really delicious floral tea yes and man everything was so good it was like the cutest old man who was serving us and i believe he just lives upstairs yeah he kept going up the stairs i'm assuming to his kitchen yeah um and it was just such a great experience yeah. and what a good deal like, i know oh my gosh. two dollars and fifty cents yeah we'll definitely be back <laughs> So now that we've shown you guys a bit of Cusco today, I do want to dive into a little bit of the history. So there are two main churches in the Plaza de Armas, and one of them is Cathedral Cusco, and the other one is called Iglesia de la Campaña de Jesus. Hopefully I'm not butchering that, but basically both churches have been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site back in 1983, and they were actually built, or they started construction on them in the 1500s. And these churches are actually one of the best examples of Baroque Spanish architecture architecture. Um, so it was really cool to be able to walk around the square and it was just so lively today. But to end the day, we're actually going to walk just around the corner from our Airbnb and kind of overlook the city and just see what's going on. If you think Cusco is pretty during the day, just wait till you see it at night. I think it's absolutely beautiful because the mountains just look like hills of stars because all the buildings are just twinkling and it's so, so, so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> so 
So after looking at the beautiful overlook, we decided that we really wanted to try some Peruvian donuts. So that is what we're going to do now. Oh, Claire. It's okay, they'll have more tomorrow. So Claire, tell them what happened. <laughs> So unfortunately, the picarones place is all out of picarones. <laughs> and so I was so sad because I actually saw them serving the last order of picarones for the day. And because it is Independence Day, so many locals were going to um, enjoy some dessert. And so we didn't make it in time, but we have to go back tomorrow because it smelled so good. And I, <laughs> honestly, I was like watering at the mouth when I saw them like putting that last order on the plate and I was so excited. And then they're like, no more for today, come back tomorrow. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I was like moping all the way back up to our Airbnb. So instead of doing picaronas tonight, we're gonna go do um, another dessert place and then we'll try that again tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining us in day one in Cusco City. We had so much fun exploring and just seeing the locals so happy celebrating Independence Day. Tomorrow we do have another full day and hopefully San Pedro Market will be open and we can go get some lovely fruits and veggies for us to cook in the Airbnb and then hopefully we can end the day with some picarones. And so with that, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Of it all. Yes, because we do have a kitchen in our Airbnb, we were able to go to their local markets and pick up some of their local fruits and vegetables and be able to try that in our home. And so today I'm gonna to make us a little breakfast, but before I get into that, I wanna show you their bananas here. So the other day we went to the market, we got some plantanos, some bananas, and as you can see, they are a little shorter and stubbier than the normal banana that we see in the US. And so once we opened it up, once we opened it up, we did see that the inside is kind of this pinkish rosy color, kind of like an orange creamsicle color. And we were like, wow, that's really interesting. And then we took a bite into it and it tasted very different from the normal banana. And so that is when I started to research on these bananas and apparently they are called the Ila banana and they are exclusively found in Peru. Basically, you can eat these raw, um, but these definitely aren't ripe enough for us to eat it raw. It tasted very uh, starchy when we were eating it yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up and I'm going to bake it because that is what they suggested to do and it'll be today's dessert for lunch. <laughs> oh, And it's all because we took a night drive down. Their avocados here are incredibly soft and you buy it this soft from the market. Um, so it's super easy to scoop out and it's so, so, so delicious. And it turned right and granny white. We were sure. Of it all. It's so big. Time to check on my plantados. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, I did cut that one too thin, so it got burnt a little bit, but everything else looks pretty good. Hmm, let's see. I really like the crunch. Yeah, they're pretty good. So baked, it has a nice crispy texture, which I really like. And it does have this very starchy consistency, kind of like a potato, mm -hmm. but the taste of it, is kind of like a banana mixed with a tropical fruit. We're trying to pinpoint what fruit it would be, yeah. but it is a little bit sour, a little tangy, um, but overall very delicious. Yeah, it's kind of like a sweet potato in a way too. Mm -hmm. We are officially heading to the market and every time we go to the market, we practice our Spanish a little bit before. <laughs> and so I'm practicing 
Me gustaría tres aguacate, por favor. Really? Cuánto cuesta? Really good. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Do leave in the comments below if I'm saying it completely wrong because that'd be very embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so we're about to head over to the San Pedro Market, but San Pedro Market is actually known for their fruits, their vegetables. You can actually buy meals there. They have smoothies as well as a lot of dry goods. And it's actually been open and around since the 1920s, which is really crazy. And so it's a very historic place and I can't wait to go today. Wow, nice job. All right, so we are about to walk to San Pedro Market, and along that walk, we will actually pass by this area that has some uh, original Incan stonework, and it's gonna be really cool to pass by that street. So all along the left side when we're walking through, you'll see that there's just a whole wall of perfectly carved stone that fits perfectly into one another. And there's actually one stone that has 12 sides to it. And I just can't believe they got to cut 12 sides of stone and then everything around it fits perfectly along it. And I think it's absolutely remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... Para comer los días, eso cuesta cuatro, cuatro cuarenta. So we just walked through the San Pedro market and we actually left the market and followed these fruit stands and it turned into this full-fledged like food market and the sun was shining because it's becoming the afternoon mm -hmm. and it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. We actually ended up getting our fruit outside of the market and I do think it was a little bit cheaper than what we paid last time when we did get it inside of the market. So I do think we're gonna go get some dinner now and then hopefully afterwards we'll get some picarones because we've been waiting way too long for them. <laughs> tonight we have returned to the same place. You can pass up such a good deal. And tonight in his kitchen, he has this beef stew that has some potatoes and carrots. And of course that white rice and the soup already came out. We finished it and we've got our tea. <laughs> Picarones, and these are basically deep fried dough rings made from either sweet potato or pumpkin and then it is drizzled over with honey so we're gonna give it a try it is so chewy and crunchy and crispy and everything you can imagine a great donut to be so gooey on the inside it's delightful it is so good <laughs> we will see you again <laughs> I'm so full, so out of breath. I'm going to sleep so well tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining us as we have explored Cusco. This city is absolutely amazing and we can't wait to keep on exploring Peru. So if you want to follow along on our adventure, definitely hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that you can get notified whenever we post something. But otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Make you work so hard.